Hey, this is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather, and I'm standing here with my Cobra Class 4 sewing machine, and I'd like to take a minute and discuss the fine points about bobbin change, because I think that some people tend to make a mistake, especially the beginners, and they end up unintentionally um, damaging their take or their tension spring. So let's get to the bottom of this, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the cap, okay? So the just grab it from the side and turn it counterclockwise and it releases, okay? So with the needle is at the top of the stroke, what you're going to find is that the bobbin case is pointing up and away from you. So there's a little latch right here. And typically what I do is I just stuck my thumb under and pull it out. So the tip of my thumbnail underneath and push up on the, on the catch and then pull the case out. There's a spring, but I don't like it popping out okay just hold it and then guide it out then there's another little spring inside that will push the bobbin out by itself and you hear us always talking about load the bobbin so that it pays out counterclockwise okay so when you pull the thread you want it to spin counterclockwise and that the reason is that there's a spring in the very bottom of the bobbin case and we don't want to go clockwise because it'll uncoil the spring and then damage the spring. So paying out counterclockwise so that it pre um, prevents damage to the spring. Okay. So now I'm going to grab a fresh bobbin off the bobbin winder. And here it is in my hand. And it's paying out counterclockwise. This is very important. Okay. So paying out counterclockwise. There's a little catch right here in the very bottom of the case, and that makes it so the bobbin doesn't want to go in straight. So sometimes you've got to kind of tip the edge in and then push it in. Okay, so once I get it, the case in there, the thread is still hanging out through the side of the case. Okay, and what we want to do is make note of this groove right here. So I'm going to guide the thread so that it goes into that little groove and then just slide it so that the tip of the thread is in contact with the tension spring. This little round shaped piece of metal is a, it's it's not a coil spring, it's a leaf spring, but it is nevertheless a spring and you want it to keep tension pressing down in this direction. But if we make a mistake while loading the bobbin, it'll damage that spring. So let's let's talk about that. So I'm going to close the case and I'm going to use my right hand on the thread and my left index finger pushing the case in so that it won't spin while I'm pulling on this. And what I want to do is I want to keep the thread up against the side of the case. I don't want to pull in this direction at all because if you see, if you pull this way, it's going to pull the spring up and it will no longer provide good um, pressure on the thread. So I'm going to hold it so I'm not wasting thread by pulling and dumping the thread out of the bobbin and I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to keep the thread up against the side of the spring until it slides under and in between the little um, notch there what we call the buck teeth okay but when I'm pulling the thread out I'm going to keep it along the body of the case I'm not going to pull up and pull the spring away from the side of the case eventually wearing out the spring and then it no longer provides proper tension. So pressure on the edge, slide it along the case, keep the thread against the body of the case, pull until it slides under, and then as you're deploying more thread, don't pull it in this angle. This is a big no-no, but keep it going along the side of the case, and then you can pull your thread out that way. Okay, so this has been, look at me, Vern, this has been Al Bain, Al Bain for Leather, talking about the fine points of bobbin replacement. And the only thing that we ask is that you, well, there's a couple things. Please like and subscribe. Hit the little thumbs up if you like what you see, if you've learned anything. And then uh, leave a comment if you like. We're happy to see those. And please pay it forward.